welcome to the secret sauce for success as a live bottle painter. Hi, everyone. I am Michelle. And I'm Talisa. And you are here because you want to hear the tea about secret sauce for success as live bottle painters. Now, while our tea pot is boiling, let us introduce ourselves. Okay, so I'm Michelle, and I am from Honolulu, Hawaii. I do calligraphy, bottle painting, and hand engraving for live events and brand activations. I am also the creator of the Fundamentals of Bottle Painting course, FBP, where I teach how to speed paint a bottle within five to 10 minutes for on-site events and in-studio commission pieces. And I'm Talisa from Toronto, Canada. I'm a calligrapher, engraver, and illustrator specializing in live events for PR and brand activations and also, cor and also corporate. I have a course if you want to learn hand engraving where I teach calligraphers how to engrave on a variety of surfaces for live events and in-studio commissions. So we both frequently do live events for major brands. Um, we customize items for customers and guests as a way to really elevate brand experiences. And we do this right in front of our audiences. Collectively, we work with over 50 brands like Tiffany's, Gucci, Estee Lauder, Jo Malone, just to name a few. Okay, so now that our tea is ready to be served, we're spilling the secret sauce, the creme de la creme, the tips on how to be a successful live bottle painter. Okay, so number one, learn the craft and know the right tool. So our secret is to learn speed painting. And we both find impressionist and one and done painting technique to be the fastest way to capture the essence of the object being painted. We both, me, Michelle and I, we both can produce highly detailed painting, but when you're at a live event, the clients expect you to paint in a very short turnaround time. So you have to be able to let go of unnecessary details. And speaking of painting in a short amount of time, I have been working a lot at the duty-free shop located in the Honolulu airport. At that time, we all of our customers are there because for, they're doing one thing. They are on the way to catch their flight. And because they came a little early, they decide to shop around and purchase a perfume bottle or candle or whatever surface it is. And I am there to personalize it for them. But because they have such a short turnaround time, they need their bottles to be done very quickly or else they may miss their flights. So this is really about time. We're not going to get them to see, we're not going to see them tomorrow. This is it. This is all the time they have. So you need to make sure that we, you can produce a painting or a personalization in a short amount of time. Yeah. So, um, so that means it's also important knowing the tools, the tools, the paint where you, where it dries really, really fast. It also sticks on to the glass. So folk art multi-surface acrylic paint is a great one because it um, it will stick well on a glass as opposed to professional grade acrylic paint um, that are really good on canvas really really good um, but it they don't stick really well on glass Yes, multi-surface acrylic paint the especially the one from folk art it has a patented, polymer resin system specifically formulated for use on almost any surface which means glass that's why it sticks so well and this type of paint is not just well for all these types of surfaces but it's also very very inexpensive so mm -hmm. think about wine with wine there's so many different choices but the most expensive one does not always mean it's going to be the best and vice versa, just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's bad. Mm -hmm. And in our advanced um, FBP course, we teach speed bottle painting in the styles that we find the most feasible for quick turnaround. 
like I mentioned earlier, which is the impressionist and modified one and done technique. We also go over the tools that we love and recommend for live events. So you will look professional and get the job done. Yes, that's what we all want, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So then we move on. So from here, after we learn the craft and knowing the right tools, it's all about marketing yourself. So the first thing that you need to do is get a website. So there are many uh, website platforms that you can build um, from. So there's Squarespace, Wix, Shopify, GoDaddy, but we both mostly love using Squarespace. It just really easy to use with the drag and drop um, feature and having your own website is basically having your own real estate um, a marketing real estate so you don't have to or you also don't want to depend on host platforms like Instagram TikTok or even website that features artists because uh, or feature vendors and artists because I can tell you Based on my own experience, being in multiple of these uh, websites, I have never received any leads. And not to mention the cost of being in those websites is sometimes the same, sometimes even more than having your own website. So get that website up and running and keep updating it. It just makes sense. Mm -hmm. And so along with having your website, another way is to start building your profile. And in our advanced FBP course, we cover topics on what to include on your website, pitching, pricing, so that when you are ready to market yourself, you will have the credibility and the confidence to show your potential clients of your painting skills. Brands really, really like to envision the work being done on their products. So they feel confident to partner with you when they see all of your beautiful work together, especially on a website. So mm -hmm. from here, we then want to move on to just really continuing to learn and practice your craft. So when this time comes, you want to always be open to really further your education, explore different techniques so you can come up with your own style of painting. Um, but also not just having your own style, but also understanding the basics of painting, like the color, the shapes, the shading, composition. So you will be able to paint with a reference photo. And just so you know, we both, Talisa and I always use reference photos when we mm -hmm. do our painting. It's how we can get it to look realistic. Um, it doesn't mean that we're cheating. It just means that we have something there so that we know what we're doing. But we always use the basic concepts of color, shape, shading, and composition when we continue to paint. So if you want to become a painter, um, you really got to nail the basics of the color theory, the shapes, shading, and composition. And just remember, practice makes perfect. So keep on honing those skills and learning new tricks. And also remember, everything takes time to practice. Um, just how you might remember when you just started doing calligraphy, you couldn't get that stroke perfectly right away on the first time you try, right? It takes months because you have to build that um, muscle memory. You need to develop that. It is the same thing with painting. You can't just simply pick up a brush today and expect to be the next Picasso tomorrow. It takes time, practice, patience. And so you really want to enjoy the process when you're practicing and analyze your brush strokes, your lines and your compositions, which by the way, we cover all of that in our advanced FBP course. Oh, yes. So much to learn. Mm -hmm. So this is just learning and practicing. Um, the next thing that you want to be aware of is managing the expectations. So this is when we're on site. You want to be able to communicate with the brand, the expectations, as well as with your customers. So on site, there is a lot going on. Um, 
this time it's very, very exciting for us, but we're also under a lot of pressure. So we want you to stay as professional as possible. And we do this by understanding our limits. So this includes understanding our time limits, our skill limits. And then from there, you're able to make a judgment on whether you can take this job on or not. You can paint it or not. Um, then you need to communicate this with the sales associates and the customers. So really having a clear expectation reduces the possibility of unsatisfied customers. And we recommend having a few sample bottles out that showcase what you can do. Now, in our course, we teach different painting designs in a variety of categories. Categories. So that's going to give you a lot of samples that you can showcase to the clients. We have painting design based on fragrance notes, how to paint using reference image, painting, painting landscape, gender inclusive designs, and a lot more. So our last and final tip is to have a competitive advantage by knowing how to engrave. Now, hand engraving is the art of etching on glass, metal, ceramic, so that the personalization is permanent. For example, names, dates, initials, a short message like happy birthday or I love you, mom. Those will all be permanent on your surface. These usually have significance or sentimental value to the receiver. So basically, hand engraving is personalizing the items, whereas bottle painting is customizing the item. Ooh, so most of the time when you are an event bottle painter, the customer will request names and messages as part of the design, which is why it's so important to know how to engrave on different surfaces. Engraving and bottle painting are sister niches, so they complement each other. So when you know how to do both, you're likely going to be in high demand in your market because the brand client will see you as a one-stop service. Yes. So in our courses, we have a module on how to combine engraving and bottle painting so that you can create designs that feature both permanent messages and gorgeous painted elements for a truly unique masterpiece. Now you've got our secret sauce for success. If you want to be an event bottle painter, just remember, this is the beginning of your bottle painting journey, but the learning really never ends. So for that, we have a course specifically designed to teach and support you in your bottle painting journey. Our lifetime access will allow you to go at your own pace, and you will also have exclusive access to our community group with immediate support from us and your peers. Now, if this is for you, check out our curriculum on our website. Follow, follow Bottle Paintings on Instagram for some inspiration. Check out our YouTube channels to see more of our stuff and keep in touch with us on our social media. Um, we hope that you will join us in our course and thank you for listening and happy painting. <laughs> Happy painting! <laughs> <laughs>